Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm Melissa and today we're talking about two of my favorite things. Budgeting, which I love, and Christmas, which I love as well. Look at all these fun decorations behind me. Picked up a couple new ones this year. I don't usually buy a ton of Christmas decorations every year, obviously, money-wise, but I got these Hobby Lobby. Of course, they were 50% off like normal, but and I really wanted to be able to have something to decorate my mantle. So, you'll see these on my mantle one day. Just so you know, when this video comes out, yes, I have already decorated for Christmas. It brings me and my family joy, so I'm going to do it. No, I don't skip Thanksgiving as a holiday. I still celebrate Thanksgiving. I celebrate the reason for Thanksgiving. I eat Thanksgiving dinner with my family. We love Thanksgiving. It's just I don't have Thanksgiving decorations. I love Christmas decorations. My fall decorations go up at the beginning of September. Have them for September and October with a few Halloween decorations. And then my Christmas decorations go up November. And then they stay December. And sometimes a little bit longer than that. It just brings me joy. Anyways, back to budgeting and Christmas budgeting in particular. We are going to talk about how I save and spend money for a family of five, our family of five, me and my husband, and we have three children, plus all of our other family members as well. I actually start at the beginning of every year, and I have a list on my phone for gifts, for all birthday gifts, plus all the Christmas gifts that we will be purchasing for that December. I put for my family in particular, I put the stocking section in there, just thinking ahead and figuring out what few things will be going in our stockings. I have two special gifts for the children by uh, SC, and then usually four from me and my husband to go to the children. And then me and my husband, usually we do about four gifts for us as well. We also usually have the kids pick out a gift for their siblings and for mom and dad. I just love seeing my children find joy in picking gifts for other people and then seeing that joy in their face whenever they give the gift to the person that they bought it for and see how happy it makes them. I think it's a wonderful thing to instill in children, gift giving, and not just necessarily gift giving, but giving in general. Gifts are one aspect of that, especially for Christmas. The money spent each year on each person in our family usually varies year to year, so I'll be making an individual video about how much money we spent this year on us as a family. Usually for outside gifts, I like to say around $20 to $25 per person. This year we're doing couples gifts for siblings on one side of my family. If it's just for one person, it would be $25, 20 to $25. For a couples gift, we'll do $40 to $50, probably around that. And sometimes for our parents, we do a little bit bigger of gifts. Like I said, I start at the beginning of the year and I make a list of all of the gifts and all of the people that I'm going to be purchasing for. And I start noticing what they like and what they might need come December time. That way I can really pay attention and hopefully get something that they would really love and really need and get some use out of. I love gift giving and I think that I really love picking out something that the person would really like. Obviously, I know sometimes I'm not going to get it right, and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, thanks, and then try to get rid of it later. And I am perfectly fine with that. I don't want somebody to keep something that they're not going to like or they're not going to use. Since I go ahead and figure out what I'm going to be purchasing or get an idea of what I'm going to be purchasing for each person or most of the people, then when I see that it's on sale, I can go ahead and purchase it. I knew I was going to go ahead and buy it, but I got it at a discount, and so being prepared really saves you money. I usually keep a couple of the gifts for each of our children open. That way, whenever they make their Christmas list closer to Christmas time, 
me and my husband can go out shopping together and pick up a couple of the things on their list. Me and my husband really love doing this together and we can make sure that the kids get a few things that are on their Christmas list. Christmas list. I personally like to be done with my Christmas shopping by probably Cyber Monday. I try to buy everything that I'm not going to be able to get on Black Friday or Cyber Monday beforehand. That way I can be completely done. Go ahead and wrap the presents. Put them under the tree. I love seeing them under the tree for a while. And my kids have never tried to unwrap them. They have been trained. <laughs> but from a young age. So we'll see. I have a one and a half year old. So we'll see how this year goes. But I go ahead and have them wrapped and under the tree so that I don't have to worry about Christmas gift shopping and go out in the crowds and do all of that. But I can spend all of my time with my family, all of my extra time with my family, making Christmas memories. So another benefit of starting at the beginning of the year is by... Uh, starting at the beginning of the year, you can spread out your money and you can spread out buying the gifts throughout the year. That way, you don't feel as hard on your wallet buying it all in November and December. Two ways that we have basically saved without saving money to use for Christmas time are as follows. One, we have a credit card that we use throughout the year. I can make a separate video of how we use our credit card, but we use it throughout the year and pay off the balance each month. Our credit card gives us points. I would hope all credit cards do, but we get on once a year before we're going to start buying the bulk of our Christmas and order gift cards from our points. You can, I think, get cash as well, but ours is just a little bit better um, return if you order gift cards and so that's why we've always done that. But check your credit card and see what it gives you. Last year I think we got about $250 that we got um, from our gift cards on our credit card points and so that really helped with Christmas spending. Uh, we'll see how much we get this year. I haven't looked yet. Hopefully I'll be ordering them today or tomorrow. Another way is if you use a lot of cash and you get your change, I'm sure you put it somewhere. Put it all in one place and then at, when it comes time to start buying for Christmas, you can cash them in. Make sure you call your bank ahead and see if they have a machine that you can just dump your coins in and it will give you the money. Check to see if it charges you a fee. Sometimes if you bank with that bank, it won't charge you a fee. If it will, sometimes they'll have you roll your coins, and I actually really enjoy rolling coins. I just turn on some TV, start doing it. It is time consuming and makes your hands dirty. And if you have little ones, you want to make sure they are asleep or out of the room so they don't try to eat the money. But that is a way to avoid the fees. For sure, I would not recommend going and dumping your change in the ones that are at grocery stores because they will charge you a fee. I don't know offhand how much it is, but for me, I don't want to pay any money to exchange my money. Now, you may say, well, Melissa, how does this help me this year? This is really great advice for next year and starting for 2021, but how can this help me with Christmas 2020? You can still use both of the tips that I have. You can look at your credit card points and see how many you have and see if you can go ahead and cash them in or get some gift cards for it. And like I said, if you have coins, I'm sure you save them in buckets or things in your car or wherever. Just put them all together and go cash them in and that can give you some extra money to use for Christmas this year. As far as the gifts and being able to buy on sale, make a list now. Start it right now if you haven't already and start looking for those sales. I hope you got something out of today's video in my Christmas budgeting tips and how I prepare for Christmas. If you like this video, I really appreciate a thumbs up and I make videos weekly about my life, motherhood, and money in budgeting of course so if you want to watch more videos about that I would really appreciate a subscribe 
and thank you for watching today. Bye.